My name is Armin Mirzayan. I'm a practicing dentist of uh, over 20 years now, and I knew right out of dental school within a year's time when we started our practice uh, from scratch that there's no way I'd be practicing analog dentistry, and I've always been passionate about digital dentistry. Uh, but I finally got the uh, wish of my lifetime, or dream of my lifetime, which was to uh, distribute an intraoral scanner that I really believed in. Uh, so in the summer of 2018, I had the opportunity to become a distributor for the Medit scanner and it's been an incredible ride and it's been a, a very fulfilling uh, accomplishment to be able to uh, help doctors enter the field of digital dentistry with low barriers and a lot of the uh, obstacles removed out of the equation. My name is Laura Janae and I do sales support and training for CAD CAM systems, namely the Meta Intraoral Scanner. My first uh, impression of the i700 was pure skepticism. I was uh, very happy with the i500. Um, it seemed like every three months there were monumental advancements with the software. So I couldn't fathom how much more efficient and how much easier the, the scanner could possibly get. But as soon as I handled it, it was very obvious that it was uh, much lighter in weight, much easier to maneuver, much more flexible. The most striking difference between the i700 and the i500 that I noticed first was the size. So it's just a lot easier to handle. It's a lot smaller, um, easier, a little bit easier to grip. And then I also noticed I really like the versatility of the tip. I can take this off and actually change directions. And uh, thirdly, in terms of the hardware, I love how I can plug this in really easily with the USB 3 um, here in one operatory, and then I can just unplug this, go to another operatory, take a, have a second backup as a cord, plug in the second one, and keep scanning. So it, it's got a really nice portability to it as well. And it packs a lot of power. It's, it packs a nice punch. It can. Uh... Uh, really image very, very quickly. It's extremely versatile and uh, I've been very pleasantly surprised that there was that much improvement in such a period of time and the price difference isn't that much. So you get a lot more bang for your buck and uh, um, I was uh, very excited after handling the, the camera for the very first time. Uh, really excited to present this case to you because it uh, features quite a lot of the components of the new camera and the new software. Uh, namely, we have the color filtering where we can tell the scanner to ignore certain uh, uh, colors. You may have purple gloves, blue gloves, green gloves. You use that to retract the lips and it doesn't see it. That's been there before, but it's uh, greatly enhanced. Now we're featuring some of the uh, unique advancements that Meta has made. Uh, what you're seeing is a color filter. Uh, you see the blue glove in the field of view that uh, other scanners may inadvertently record and capture, but you can designate specific filters to ignore certain colors. That makes life really, really easy when you're taking full arch images. Another great feature is the angulation of the mirror on the camera tip. It's uh, varied by another five degrees compared to the original scanner and what that lets you do is gives you great access like you see here on the distal buckle of the second molars. I've trained thousands of dentists how to scan intraorally and one of the hardest places to image for any intraoral camera is the distal of the second molar. What was really impressive to me with the Medit i700 is that everyone that I've trained with was able to image that very quickly and that's because the way that the hardware is is that it's on a 45 degree angle and that makes all the difference. So it's instantaneous. So the second molars are always the most challenging uh, areas to image, and you saw I readily capture that. Uh, another feature and they're constantly improving on is the uh, artificial intelligence software that can crop out data that doesn't belong into the equation. So here you can see how readily and quickly the cheek that was inadvertently imaged gets cropped out because of the the coding and the programming uh, that uh, Medit has uh, implemented into the camera system. So numerous examples of how easy it is to capture the distal buckle, the most difficult area to image uh, intraorally. Segmental scans allow you to image a full arch in compartments or in segments. Uh, so instead of trying to scan the whole thing at once, you can scan uh, one part of the arch, take the camera out if you have to, scan another part of the arch, take the camera out if you want to, and then take the middle segment, and then the software automatically will merge those three models together and form one uh, master model. So as you notice, the camera couldn't capture, continue capturing, 
So they took that first model and put it in a, what we call the pocket area in the bottom left corner. And then it allows you to continue imaging. And then once it recognizes common landmarks, it automatically merges them together and forms a master model. Let's see that again. Here is a uh, case that's being scanned. And you see, notice in the bottom left corner, the first segment is uh, pocketed away as the novice new user is imaging the rest of the arch. Sometimes uh, you can't continue scanning, so the camera starts to form yet another model. So this is a great example of how a new user who's not comfortable holding camera, is just getting started, uh, can image segments of the arch. And as they proceed forward and there's enough common landmarks, this is a fourth model, and watch how the models on the left corner now merge uh, to create a master model as soon as they're redundant landmarks. It automatically fuses them together. So with these uh, segmental scans, a new user can uh, build a lot of confidence instead of a lot of frustration by segmentally scanning uh, difficult areas. Uh, lower arch, second molar can definitely be a challenge for a new user. But as you notice, there were multiple models formed that the software adhered together and joined into a master model. We also have multiple bytes and uh, probably the most requested feature was to be able to capture maximum intercuspation, excursives, open vertical, protrusives. You can do all those things within the same case. We're going to showcase uh, some of the ways we capture the bites uh, for this uh, uh, orthodontic uh, treatment plan that we're going to present. From here, we'll proceed to capturing the bite in maximum intercuspation. And yet another great new feature unique to the Medit scanner is the ability to take multiple bites. So here are two bites taken, a right and a left bite, yet we can continue adding multiple occlusal schemes. So for this particular demonstration purposes, we're going to have the patient bite edge to edge, and then we're going to image with a scanner the anterior area um, where the uh, upper incisors are touching the lower incisors, and we capture this occlusal relationship. Now, this may not serve a purpose for uh, uh, real clinical cases, but it's just for demonstration purposes and you could add multiple vertical dimensions. You can have, uh, op you can have open bites, you can add uh, protrusive bites, you can um, create a lot of different vertical dimensions. Now let's take this uh, exciting information onto some of the advanced applications that Medit has, uh, namely here, the orthodontic software. Spectacularly, the software can uh, very uniquely identify what is tooth structure and what is gum tissue. And the last thing we want to feature is the orthodontic simulation app. Uh, we absolutely stumbled into this. We had no idea we we're going to end up there. Uh, we took the upper scan, the lower scan, the bites, and we thought we're done. And then it was a serendipitous uh, discovery. We took the models into the orthodontic app and then all of us, our jaws dropped once we saw the, the, the process and the results from that program. So uh, it's pretty rare to see the very first proposal segment teeth and gum tissue so precisely. And the better data you capture, the better job you do filling in uh, all the information and identifying the tooth structure with your intraoral scan. When you get to the step, this step is automatic. With other software and other programs, this may take you an enormous amount of time. Whereas here it's automated and you get a very quick proposal to uh, identify the teeth. And the whole purpose of this segmentation is so that you can uniquely and individually move each particular tooth to the position that you want, and then have the software calculate and simulate the orthodontic movement of each uh, particular tooth and its rotation. From a trainer's perspective, the evolution of the Medit i700 was immediately noticeable and very impressive. The previous Medit scanner is the best intro scanner that I've ever used. The new Medit scanner, the Medit i700, it's more powerful, it's lighter, it's smaller, it's packed full of new features, and it's super easy to train on. For any new user getting started in digital dentistry, this would be the scanner to go with, the Medit i700. In conclusion with the i700, I think we're finally at the point where 
the uh, digital impressioning system could be very commonplace in every operatory. It used to be that we used to designate one specific room or one specific person who'd handle the scanning part of the equation. But now it's so affordable, it's so practical. Uh, the form is there, the functionality of it is there. It's very simple that a new employee can manage, a new doctor, he or she can readily pick up a camera and start scanning within each operatory because it's become that simple and that affordable. So that's pretty revolutionary for, uh, for all of dentistry.